Oh look, if it isn't the Rad Tech student that skipped lecture the day they talked about the 15% rule when it comes to KVP. <sighs> I guess I gotta be the one to explain it to you, don't I? Buckle up, bitch. Oh yes, the 15% rule, the magical little piece of witchcraft of x-ray that says, hey, if you yeet your KVP up by 15%, you completely double your receptor exposure. Translation, you just Frankenstein your x-ray beam into Hulk mode, bitch. Look at this shit. Too light. Not enough shades of gray? Bump that KVP up. And suddenly you've got the Mona Lisa of radiographs. Too dark? Drop that bad boy by 15% and suddenly you've turned Hulk back into Bruce Banner. And here's where things get messy, okay? If you're cranking KVP up by 15%, that means you've got to cut your mass in half. Why? Because the image receptor doesn't need that much juice anymore. Your beam is already beefed up like it's on steroids from Costco. So let's say you're shooting a chest x-ray at 80 KVP. 15% of 80 is 12, because math is hard. So bump it up to 92 KVP, and bam, your receptor exposure doubles. Now, cut your mass in half, or else you're about to serve your radiologist a platter of pitch black garbage. Why does this matter? Because physics, Jessica. That higher KVP gives your photons, your mass, more oomph. They've got energy, they've got speed. They're basically kicking down the patient's tissues like the Kool-Aid man through the wall. Oh yeah! So remember this, increase KVP by 15%, double exposure. Decrease KVP by 15%, half the exposure. So if you increase your KVP by 15%, you're going to cut your mass in half. If you decrease your KVP by 15%, you're going to double your mass. It's like the fucking seesaw of x-ray. You can't just go cranking buttons like it's a Vegas slot machine. You gotta balance that shit. Forget this rule, and you're going to be that- So next time someone says, what's the 15% rule? You tell them it's basically x-ray's way of saying, fuck around with KVP and find out, bitch.